This week on Machinery Pete TV, the spotlight turns to classic pickups this week. This Hawaiian blue Chevy Bonanza K10 is just one of the gems at Sullivan's auction. From hedgerow to field, this John Deere A made quite a comeback. And the combination of a John Deere 10 series with a loader is a winning combination in the used market. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see for yourself. Protect Systems, it's what professionals choose to clean, polish, and protect their equipment. Protect Systems products are easy to use and provide consistent professional results every time. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program. Promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America. Hey folks, something different for you this week on Machinery PTV, coming at you from Carthage, Illinois. And yes, I'm down here visiting our great friends at Sullivan Auctioneers. I'm sure you've seen over the years how they've grown this amazing no reserve collector auction for vehicles and also pickup trucks. And we're going to focus in on classic pickup tr trucks today. And you can see out on the outside of the facility here, we got a lot of cool looking ones, but I tell you, the really nice ones are inside. But first, it's time for Share Your Legacy, brought to you by Big Iron Auctions. We head to Lexington, Illinois this week to meet a farm family that owes everything to Faith and a dad who flew over 100 combat missions during World War II. Faith was very important. Um, I grew up going to church before I was even born because my folks were going to church and and uh, still go to the same church that uh, they took me to when I was growing up. Um, my dad's faith, uh, he said, was, was good, but it became really strong when he was in World War II. He was a pilot and he flew over 100 combat missions. And he said it wasn't any doings of his, but it's only by the grace of God that he came back. So uh, um, he always, you know, said uh, he didn't know anybody could farm and not have faith because we don't have control over much of anything, the weather or the markets or anything else. So uh, he, uh, he loved the Lord and he loved the land and he passed that on to me. I was born and raised on this farm and uh, uh, we moved back here in 2008 um, after my dad passed away in 2006. And, back here on the farm. Uh, we farm corn and beans and uh, here and do some trucking here in central Illinois. Well we're in uh, in our shop we built this in uh, 2014. Uh, we really needed space uh, we didn't have a shed big enough to put most equipment in to work on in the winter. It was basically uh, built for uh, you know working on equipment and stuff but it's kind of turned into uh, as you can see our grandkids have kind of taken it over. They come out here and play all the time. My oldest grandson uh, loves to pitch, we build him a pitcher's mound, he comes out here and bat, batting practice and pitches. And It's a great family area, we have most of our parties here, Christmas parties, family gatherings, uh, class reunions, um, we've had a lot, of, a lot of things here and the grandkids love to be here so it's, it's a lot of fun here. Very proud to be um, involved in the farm, uh, family operation that's now been passed down through the generations that take a lot of pride in uh, carrying on the legacy of my grandfather and my father and hopefully maybe someday passing that on to the next generation of, of my children. Legacy is, is not just the money or the land. Um, to me that's the smallest part of it. It's that leaving what my dad left to me, the character and, and the ability to to treat people fairly, to you know look a guy square in the eye and shake his hand and, and to be a man and to uh, you know, work hard and at the end of the day say, I did the best I could. Visit BigIron.com to watch full episodes and to submit your Share Your Legacy Stories. For over 40 years, Big Iron has been America's trusted name in auctions. From farm equipment to real estate to livestock and classic cars, we offer full service support to all of our sellers. In 2022, Big Iron acquired Sullivan Auctioneers in an effort to elevate the level of service provided to our customers. Both companies sharing similar small town origins, our stories begin the same. Combined, our over 80 years of experience 
has established best practices to better serve our customers in the online auction space. With our large online selection of equipment, engaged bidder base, and full service approach, we take pride in consistently exceeding our customers' expectations. Big Iron Auctions and Sullivan Auctioneers, truly we are better together. I'm here with John Witter. You have quite a new solution that is going to have a lot of interest, I think, from the farm side and the dealer side. The system allows us to restore paint back to or better than factory new condition. And most importantly, we can seal and protect that paint so that we do not have to polish it again. The product bonds to the paint and just wipes off with a beautiful finish and shine. The difference in that is amazing. It's and pretty easy to see which side you'd like, right? Yeah. Flashing lights. See them, and you know to go slow. Now we put that same technology in the palm of your hand with Lizard Flare. It's the high-tech safety flare with no flame. Lizard Flare uses 15 high-intensity LED strobes that can be seen nearly a mile away, and a powerful magnet that sticks to your car without exiting the vehicle. Look, flares are dangerous, but Lizard Flare won't let you down. A dead battery, an empty gas tank. With Lizard Flare, help is on the way. Lizard Flare Pro has an ultra bright flashlight too. Get your Lizard Flare for only $9.99, but wait, Lizard Flare may be discontinued. Due to rising costs, Lizard Flare is stopping manufacturing effective immediately. There is a strict limit of two vehicle packs per order. Call now. This may be your last chance, so call 1-800-904-4750. That's 1-800-904-4750, or visit lizardflare.com now. Hey folks, we are at Sullivan Auctioneer's two-day no reserve collector auction and my friend Mark Sullivan on the marketing side with Sullivan Auctioneer said, Pete, this is going to be the farm boy edition and we're going to focus on pickups here and man, we got some beauties and I'm here with uh, Craig Hoyer, sale manager and Joe Sullivan and Joe, you got this thing rolling back in 2006, the collector auction mm -hmm. and we, when we stand here and look at this row of pickups, yeah. uh, I mean, I post pictures of these kind of things on our machine repeat I Facebook, do. and they just go crazy. I, I know that, yeah. Can uh, you speak to how this segment has grown? A lot of people just are in love with these old pickup trucks. Their dad had one, their brother had one, you know, somebody had one, their, their neighbor had one. They remember them sitting on the dealership lot, and they were just, they were cool then, and they were just really neat, these right. late late 60s, and, and of course the square bodies have, have taken off crazy. Right. but. Yeah, pickup trucks, you know, we, we call it a classic car auction. It's a classic car and truck auction. The tr a lot of people just come to look at the pickup. From the 1940s and 50s, we have a lot right. of those really cool trucks too. But this era, especially in a K10 or a K5 Blazer or right. whatever, four wheel drive ones out here in the Midwest, they're red hot. Yeah, as I see them show up at auctions, whether it's just on a farm auction or a collector auction, right. it, it, that's where my eye runs. Is to, is to these pickups and the Blazers mm -hmm. and the Jimmies and mm -hmm. uh, the Broncos and the, oh. and the Scouts and all that kind of stuff. Now, from a value side, guys, what have you been seeing with pickups like this and when they show up on your collector auction here? The, uh, they're selling, they're just like everything else, they're just graduating up and up. You know, the ones that we sold five years ago, you know, they're worth quite a bit more than they are now. Yeah. Now, obviously, you know, you're looking at uh, trucks here that have been redone I, when buyers are looking at these things i imagine they sort of want ones that have all the work's been done to them so yeah yeah they do because you know 
if you find a truck in the Midwest like this that's unrestored, it, it's going to have probably some severe mm -hmm. rust issues. Mm -hmm. The frames are going to be ugly. And you're going to start restoring a truck like this. You really should buy one done. Mm. You're going to be money ahead to buy one done. Yeah. We go down the line here, yeah. these pickups. I mean, tell us, tell us about the... This particular truck, the, this first one is a 67, but it's a K20. So it's a three-quarter ton, and it's a four-wheel drive. And it is in an awesome color. The chrome's bright. The bed is redone. The wood bed is redone. Right. It's just a really, really slick truck that will get a lot of attention. Yeah. yeah. Like you say, it probably started its life working hard on the farm. and uh, Probably was a farm truck at some time, but uh, the underside, just as nice as the top. Right. And really the wood slick. bed. Yeah, yeah, that exactly. So this truck here is a half ton. This is a K10 truck, but it also very nice truck kind of lifted a little bit, uh, nice paint. You know, this is a kind of a daily driver. The paint, you know, nice on it, but not, not perfect. But uh, a K10 four wheel drive. Right, beautiful rig. Then we have three really, really nice, three of them in a row, square bodies. Yeah. And the square bodies are red hot. Right. And we have a, re a red and white K K10 here. That is, the restoration is top, top notch. The, the inside of the bed looks like it's never been used. Mm. The next K10 is cool because a lot of people like short beds. Yep. Short beds are hot, and this is a black and silver, nice color, nice paint. Yeah, the dual uh, color combo is yeah, just yeah. sweet. And they, and they always put these triple red stripes to break, break up the paint. They were okay. always done that way. Okay. Has the rally wheels and uh, newer transmission in it, and just a really mm. nice truck. This last one, Craig, what's the color? Hawaiian blue. This mm. is a Hawaiian blue is what it was called. And it's a K10 and it's a Bonanza package. And once again, beautiful restoration, nice, nice pinstripe, rally wheels. Just a little, uh, you know, kind of a little time machine. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint? Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Ag Innovations, a company with a 20 year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. Imagine a knife taking this much abuse and didn't need sharpening. Introducing the incredible NutriBlade knives, coated with granite stone nonstick and made of stainless steel. One of the hardest substances on earth. Now everyone can chop, slice, and dice just like a pro. Order right now to get this professional six piece set of NutriBlades for just $29.95. We'll even ship them to you free. Get your own NutriBlade knives, the last knives you'll ever buy. I'm a hairdresser, I'm a beauty expert, I'm Ken Pavis. I grew up really insecure. My mom was always there for me and always reminded me and told me that I was enough. I always dressed her up. Today, it's just a little bit different. We received a phone call confirming that my mom had ALS. It really felt like, to me, a death sentence. So we avoided it until now. I'm grateful that it's me that gets to be with her every step of the way. You're so beautiful, my mommy. My mom and I have learned to find happiness in ALS. It makes me realize even more what it could never take away from her. And that's her spirit, her inner beauty, and her strength. And the act of finding and recognizing beauty together is still there. I love you, mama. Together we can end ALS. Please donate today.
Is your closet cramped and cluttered? Well, now there's Space Triangles, the clever new hanging device that fits over any hanger to save you closet space in seconds. And now may be your last chance to get them for a low price. Now you can vertically hang multiple items, guaranteeing that you'll have up to 70% more space in your closet. Your closet can go from messy to marvelous in no time with ease. The ingenious slipover design secures the hangers vertically. It snugly fits all types of hangers to save you space. Order now to get an 18-piece set of space triangles for just $9.99. But wait, due to rising costs and supply chain shortages, this may be your last chance to get space triangles at this low price. There is a strict limit of one closet pack per order while supplies last. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. Order now. Call 1-800-942-5170. Call or visit spacetriangles.com. So call 1-800-942-5170 now. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerepeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Folks, there's probably no better example of what's been happening in the used market the last year and a half or so than trailers. I mean, if you wanted to get a new trailer, uh, good luck. You know, the supply chain mess probably is none available. Uh, manufacturers can't get one to you, even though you have the checkbook out. And on the used side of things, dealers just pinched inventory. They don't have them. So when a good trailer shows up at auction, we've been seeing prices rise like crazy. Now let's talk specifics and let's just stay with one great uh, manufacturer let's go with Wilson so if we talk grain trailers now before 2019 I'd only ever seen 13 Wilson grain trailers sold 40 K or more at auction in the US now just the past 21 months I've seen 35 Wilson grain trailers go 40 K or more at auction including four over fifty thousand dollars and here's a picture of one of them a 2014 Wilson 41 foot that sold on an April 8th, uh, 2022 online farm auction in Urbana, Illinois by our friends at Sullivan Auctioneers, went for 51,500 bucks. So again, folks, that's eight years old, 51,500, just amazing. But it's not just grain trailers that have been shooting higher in value, also livestock trailers. And again, let's stay with Wilson, and actually, let's stay with Sullivan Auctioneers. So earlier this year, on a mid-February online farm auction out of Forest, Illinois, this 2017 Wilson 53-foot livestock trailer went for 80,000 bucks, had people talking all over the place. Again, five years old, $80,000, again, just amazing. But more recently, I've been seeing rising values on older good condition livestock trailers, such as this 2003 Wilson 24-foot that went for $21,000 on an October 1st farm auction in Valentine, Nebraska. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week we're gonna to head to the Show Me State and we've got a hedgerow special for you. Daryl Walter shows off a gym he found in a hedgerow on one of their farms. And after some TLC, this John Deere A from the 1930s is in prime condition in hopes he can keep it around for generations to come. We brought four tractors and they're all different. Uh, my favorite is the 1935 A John Deere. And it's been in the family for six generations. Grandpa Davis, he lived down around the sugar tree area. They farmed down in there. Uh, he bought it, then it went to my uncle, Warren Davis, and he used it to farm with. Then it went to my mother, and then my mother gave it to me, and we still have more generations to come. It was sitting in a hedgerow. It had a hedge limb that big around laying across the gas tank and uh, the hood, and the steering rod was bent. So it did had some, and it was stuck, and nobody had messed with it for 30 years probably. My dad helped me with it. Uh, we worked on it one entire winter. We had fun. It's a very rare tractor. It's an early 35 model. 
they started making a John Deere's in 1934. And anybody that collects John Deere's knows what an open fan shaft A is. And they're really, really hard to find. I like it more every year. I used to tractor pull with it before I knew what I had. And then I realized what I had. So we pretty much quit doing tractor pulling with it. Yeah, I'm gonna hand it down one of these days. It, it won't be worth anything to them because I'm gonna tell them never to sell it. So it's really a burden instead of, but some of them I think want it and I think it'll get taken care of. You like to keep your beard perfectly groomed, but your hair shavings fly everywhere and she hates that mess. It's impossible to clean up. Introducing Vacu Trim by Bell & Howell. The total body electric shaver that trims your hair and vacuums it up at the same time. Vacutrim has 20 precise trim length settings built in, so you just dial and trim, groom, shape and edge without any messy whiskers in the sink. Vacutrim's ultra sharp stainless steel blades give you a precision cut, while the built in vacuum captures all the trimmed hair. Vacutrim's vacuum action is so powerful, just watch how it cleans up all this hair. Don't fumble with attachments, snap on the guide to shape your beard, edge side burns or remove the guy to tame unwanted body hair. Get your vacuum trim for only $39.95 and we'll even ship it to you free. Order now. Call 1-800-263-3960 or go to vacutrim.com. So call 1-800-263-3960. That's 1-800-263-3960 or go online to vacutrim.com. If you or a loved one has mesothelioma or any other asbestos-related cancer, call now. Asbestos manufacturers sold deadly asbestos materials to thousands of companies putting workers at risk. An estimated $30 billion in court-ordered trusts have been set aside to pay out claims to asbestos victims. You may be entitled to a portion of these funds and receive compensation without filing a lawsuit or ever going to court. For your free legal consultation, call 800-281-7095. That's 800-281-7095. I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. In America, millions of people, including children, are facing hunger. I only have $10 in my checking account, but it will be okay. I at least have food because of this pantry. Donna from Washington. The Feeding America network of food banks helps provide over 6 billion meals to people in need each year, like Donna. Together, we can end hunger. Learn more at feedingamerica.org. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Hey folks, here with Joe Sullivan with Sullivan Auctioneers in kind of a back room at their facility here in Carthage, Illinois. And Joe, I love how you set up the history of the events with all the, uh, the, the promotional materials over the years. And it, is this from the Gabe Line auction? Yes, that we... yes, that's the late Bob Gabe Line sale that you were at. Yeah, Yarmouth. That up, was. Up, I can't believe that was five in, years ago. Up, up in Yarmouth, that was. Uh, it was quite a deal. Yeah, that was fun to film those. The cars, of course, we've been doing tractors and combines mm -hmm. and machinery forever, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, the people, I think they don't realize the amount of car auction prices we have at Machine Repeat. Oh, yeah. we got it done. Oh, yeah. And it's super, always been fun to cover that stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, so here's your first yeah. sale back in 06, Joe. Yeah, that's back in 06 where we had, you know, high 30s, maybe 40 cars. Uh, but uh, that was it. It was in, it was in March. It was nice. a beautiful day for, for a change for us. <laughs> nice. Beautiful day. Nice. And, and you then, walk. And then there's, yeah. Walk right, through the years right, here. Walk right on through them. And uh, this is the Gabe Line auction. Yep. Yep. And then the, fo the following year, because of the Gabe Line auction, we, we got the Bud Walter sale in Southwest Kansas, had about 400 cars on it. Right. And then this is the sale. This is the first timed online sale with, with the Mark Larson collection. Mm. It was, uh, that was, that, that, was, was, that was the one. That was the one you were nervous yeah, about. Yeah, that was, uh, that, that was scary. That was but scary. would you say, Joe, that, that sale was really truly a pivot point, the first one after the it pandemic? Was, and then we turned right around, came back. That was in July. Bang. October, yeah. we had our second one. Right. And then from then on, we've had three a year. Up to three a year. Yeah. Yeah. And i got to ask you, Joe, as, as it runs up to sale day here, the incredible amount of work, you and your great staff, personally, how do you feel like maybe a few days before the sale, then morning of. I can sleep. 
Yeah. Back in back in these days, the cars all came in in a few days, and then we had to sell them, and we we had to check VIN tags and check titles, and it was weather, it was snow, it was rain, it was. Uh, that's all kind of gone now. When sale day comes now, these cars are done. They're photographed, they're videoed, right. the VINs match the titles, the paperwork's done, the deal's done, the doors are locked, and it's a timed online sale. Mm. A lot less stress on sale day in the days leading up. Good condition used loader tractors, red hot. John Deere 10 series tractors, about 20 years old, red hot. Combine the two, I tell you, sparks are gonna fly, folks. And did they ever, on a pair of farm auctions on October 1st, one in Nebraska, one in Minnesota. Now let's start off down in Nebraska, farm sale in Valentine, Nebraska, again, October 1st. Uh, this 2002 John Deere 7210 with 4,200 hours on it, very nice condition, sold with a loader, went for $88,000. That's the highest auction price I've ever seen on a John Deere 7210 and it clipped past a pair that sold on a Quarryville, Pennsylvania farm auction back on March 17th earlier this year, both just under 2,000 hours, and they went for 84,000 each. Now actually, four of the five highest auction prices ever on John Deere 7210s have come in the last seven months. Now let's move up in horsepower a little bit to a John Deere 7610, and again, same day, October 1st, on a farm auction up in Verndale, Minnesota, this 1998 7610 had a few more hours on it, 9,547 hours sold with a loader, went for $65,000. Now folks, if you go to our website, machinerypeat.com, all the auction prices are free to view. And we have some pretty powerful filters there. And if you punch up John Deere 7610 tractors uh, and the hour range of 9,000 hours or more, you're going to find 65K is a record by a huge amount, by almost $20,000. The previous high was 45.5 back 14 and a half years ago, March 15th, 2008, Wound Socket, South Dakota. Again, uh, these good condition used loader tractors, just scorching hot. Well, despite what Hollywood movies may have told us over the years, I don't think there really is such a thing as a time machine. Although I would say the closest thing I've seen is a vintage pickup truck, whether restored or original. Man, you stand next to these things and it takes you back to being a young buck when your life's dreams were stretched out in front of you like the open road. I hope you enjoyed getting under the hood with us today in Carthage, Illinois at Sullivan Auctioneers No Reserve Collector Car and Truck Auction. We will see you back here next week on Machine Repeat TV. Machine Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see for yourself. Protect Systems, it's what professionals choose to clean, polish, and protect their equipment. Protect Systems products are easy to use and provide consistent professional results every time. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program, promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America. 